It is a Wednesday afternoon. I'm outside waiting for the bus to drop off my brother Ben McCormick. Ben goes to Marianne College weekdays and on weekends he is looked after by my parents or his care of Vicky. He loves to go to school, but mostly he loves ending his school day sitting in front of the radio listening to his favourite tunes. He loves rock and roll, dance music and even likes a bit of classical if he's feeling the mood for it. Stars' Ash vs. the Evil Dead is his favourite television show, which he watches every morning with his dad, Mark. Ben's favourite food is spaghetti, and he is obsessed with milkshakes. He loves horror films and TV. Ben also loves the outdoors. Ben has trisomy 9, a disability where the ninth chromosome is duplicated, causing a lack of cognitive learning and muscular deficiency, which sees the child being non-verbal, lacking muscular abilities such as chewing and learning difficulties. Originally, when he was about one, he used to say mum, mum and dad, dad, bub, bub. Yeah. And he was the bub, bub, but he then he bub. stopped saying those Well, what was words. I? Was I anything to him? No, or? he didn't no, have No, you didn't have anything to me? That's no. cool, that's cool. No, he's only little. Can you say mum, mum? Uh. Can you say bub, bub? Uh. What about dad, dad? Uh. <laughs> But he used to say it more clearer than... He could say mum, mum. You knew he yeah. was saying mum, mum and dad, dad. dad. Yeah. yeah. Now he makes sounds of what you can yeah. hear, like he's counting. One. Ah. Uh, two. Uh, three. Ah. Uh, four. Ah. Uh, five. Ah. Uh, six. Uh, seven. Ah. Uh, eight. Uh, nine. Uh, ten. When you delivered him into the hospital and they said, you know, he has the disability trisomy 9. What mm. did they sort of say, like? Um, they just went through all the um, problems associated with this um, disorder. Which was that? And the main thing would be intellectual disability. He's unable to learn. Um, well, he can learn, but his learning ability isn't the ah. as everyone else's. Right. So, like, you have to feed him, for instance? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, he can hold the spoon and feed it himself sometimes, but he gets very fatigued. Have mm. a turn Go and on. do Go. it. Mm. Just for a minute. Just one, just one second, Ben. Go on. One, Go on. Have one turn. Yeah, so he can do it. So he can do he's it. Very <laughs> but if he wants you to do it, yeah. He wants me to do it. He's tired. He's been at school all day. Yeah, so obviously um, he's lost. He's also got a, if you can see his hands, he's got a lot of sensory issues. So he always has to hold something. That's why he doesn't want to feed himself because he needs the comfort of clenching his hands right. and holding his hands. So uh, what do you remember about Ben when he was born? Well, I don't actually remember too much, but I remember... Um, actually visiting my mum when he was born so I think it was after school or something because I remember as soon as we got to my grandmother's place um, and it was just me with my grandmother my mum was at the hospital like hours before uh, she took me straight out of the house as soon as we got in and we drove straight to the hospital and I remember seeing Ben sort of curled up in my mum's arms and that's pretty much it. I just remember just going to my grandmother's as, just to leave and go straight to visit. When I was growing up with him and I was about five and he was three, I noticed that he had things wrong with him. Like, for example, I mentioned earlier that um, he had learning uh, difficulties and he had muscular deficiencies so I noticed by about age three or four he was still in nappies and you know he still needed to be changed and everything which I thought was odd but I didn't think too much of it at the time because I was you know just a kid but um, when my mum sort of or oh, and my dad as well they sort of sat down and explained it to me it um, I don't know even at that age I sort of got the idea that he wasn't like other children but I think with that he's always been happy and he's always been a good mate as well as a brother so I find it real like hard to see him as the disability and more of him as the friend which is where um, when I was told that he had the disability it was you know it didn't have any effect on me I just sort of said okay and we just went on with our daily life
Ew. Ew. <laughs> You're gonna fuck up my camera.